Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Weekly tarot reading, April 22nd to April 28th, uh, 2019. And uh, now I'm gonna, I'm shuffling the cards, guys, and as soon as I'm done, we're gonna jump into the reading. But let me know what you think about me shuffling in front of the camera in the description, in the uh, comments down below, you know, because I do find it quite unnecessary to do so in front of camera because it does waste quite of a significant amount of time. And uh, if you want me to jump straight away into the reading, just I'm going to edit the shuffle, uh, the shuffling out and, you know, or just going to pre-shuffle and we're gonna go directly into the reading. So that being said, going to the uh, general topic of the week for Pisces, that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Obviously a tremendous week is awaiting you here with the challenges, which are challenges that you need to overcome here, which is the uh, Seven of Cups. After that, we do have the positivity that is going to be the Magician. And finally, Pisces, that is going to be uh, the, the fourth card. It is the guidance that Tarot gives you. That is the Queen of Cups. And my God, man, it's just, it doesn't get any better than this for what it seems. So once again, Ace of, Cup, uh, Ace of Cups, excuse me, followed by the uh, Seven of Cups. After that, we do have the Magician. And finally, that is going to be the Queen of Cups. All right. So uh, it's just when I drew even the, the, the second card, I do suspect that that is going to be a, a big week for you guys because uh, that week, uh, one of your wishes or one of your dreams uh, kind of manifests itself. And uh, the thing is that you are not going to believe it, all right? So that is the challenge here, to believe that that is actually happening, all right? And... Uh, simply not pull yourself away from it this is all that is needed this is this is the week so uh the ace of cups as a manifestation here which is the prime topic of your week it does point to a, a tremendous pleasure it does point as well to the the a, a, a spot in your heart which was once empty is going to be refilled back again with joy and nothing is going to look the same when you look at it through that overflowing joy meaning that we do have a replacement all right, replacement of love, replacement of success, replacement of a, a thing that betrayed you back in the past, but now you do have something new to look forward to, something new which is going to make that thing which betrayed you back in the past totally, totally irrelevant. Ace of Cups is about love, it's about that overflowing love, but that is not the, the simply the love toward another person it is about the love toward life in general and you are going to start experiencing that love because this thing here with the ace of cups that is in a new beginning coming out of nowhere you know making your life worth living again and uh giving you that thing that you need to look forward to that could be your new relationship it could be new job you know that you so desperately requ required it could be your promotion it could be your raise as well it's generally this week is going to give you a, a thing that is going to make you extremely extremely happy and 
uh, it could refer to a wish coming true all right but it's going to be the very initial state in the sense of that you can even expand on that all right so you should not accept it as a uh, uh, sealed deal if i may express it that way but just move on forward with it and try and try to develop it even further the accompanied card that is going to be the um, five of pentacles formation is a uh, passive supporters so it comes in the exact moment when you needed it all right that thing is a salvation that enterprise here endeavor new beginning it is exactly what you needed in order to uh, stabilize your life to solidify your life you know and your situation and to improve dramatically your situation it comes out in exact field where you feel that um things are unstable things are in the, things are almost ruined you know and there is no way out of the situation well maybe that's true maybe there is no way out of that situation but this new beginning that comes around makes that no way out for whatever you know indifferent i mean you are gonna be okay so this ain't gonna happen but i do have even better thing to 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 worry about right now and to um involve myself with uh right now and as we said that it's going to be way too good to be true here it's not not a way too good to be true but you may have a difficult time to believe that that is actually happening to you because you 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 haven't even dreamt for it in the um most strongest dreams of yours guys that is displayed here with the uh, seven of cups so you may think that that is going to be unrealistic goal of yours you know you may start thinking that that is like i said way too good to be true and you have to be more cautious about it and that is yes that is true you gotta be more cautious about it all right but at the same time you should not kind of like postpone it indefinitely in the future with the seven of cups the seven of cups here says that your fantasies which are in this case your dream you know are they seed are they fantasies or seeds growing well yet yeah, remains to be known and that's why you have to try you know to at least develop it to a, a very small extent the accompanied card that is going to be the nine of pentacles here and now i i, I know what these cards are trying to tell us the uh formation here is a passive supporters and it could be that you may think that you will not be able to handle it that is to be the challenge to believe in yourself that you are either good enough that you are either attractive enough you know or that you are either capable enough to take on this new beginning which is gonna make your make your heart overflow with joy so it could be for example this uh, kind of a person who is very handsome you know and kind of have that very um big and an and expensive lifestyle that shows interest in you and you may think that you're not good enough for them you may start thinking that you cannot keep them around you um for long enough okay but you gotta believe in the dream guys i mean if you don't believe in your own dreams these dreams are never gonna happen all right and this week it seems that the circumstances are gonna be very favorable to at least start initiating upon a, a dream of yours so that dream of yours can become true now what you need to know here is that the ace of cups manifests itself spontaneously out of nowhere so one day you are very despondent for example to be single and you think that love is never going to come around like um because i have these questions for example will i ever gonna uh, find love again what with these cards yeah you will and it's it's just around the corner you know uh so yeah it, it comes in the most desperate times especially with the uh five of cups here and it does gives you a reason to move on and to look forward to that development of this uh enterprise the uh positivity throughout the week that is going to be the um the magician so your confidence is going to be boosted to the roof i mean you're going to maintain or expand on your personal sovereignty you will have no problem to exert your iron will whatever actions you do are going to be supported with huge huge determination which additionally to that are going to present you very capable consistent and as well trustworthy either in front of your suitors or either in front of your boss as well and additionally to that you will have 
a year of flawless and tremendous success should you put your communications into play, right? You want to negotiate your promotion? Well, go ahead and do so. You know, you want raise? We'll start negotiating about raise because this is, as a matter of fact, what could happen. You know, you want to save that project? Well, you start negotiating about the salvation of the project. Everything happens through talks, all right? Additionally to that, with the uh, Magician card, you are to be uh, accepted just as one is. So if we're talking about that handsome person who is way above your pay grade, all right, they, they realize that, they accept you as what you are, and they have no problem. It's kind of like the prince uh, and, the Cinderella, and the Cinderella type of, uh, of relationship, all right? And it can go for a, a very, very long run. The accompanied card that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles formation is a active uh, enemies. So, uh, as I said, you are going to be boosted on sovereignty. It means that you are also going to basically stop being dependent on certain people, certain strings as well, and situations. With these cards as well, the, the way I see them is also that you may be able to repay back your big loan, for example, which is kind of uh, holding your hands back all right and not allowing you to do anything um, anything for yourself and anything for your life that is and uh, also uh, well it's very difficult to explain but let's say you will not have the um, the necessity to have other people to tell you what to do because this time around with that new enterprise uh, is, is, is promising a, a very uh, happy and successful new beginning you pretty much know what you gotta do guys and that's why you will have that determination which is behind your actions showing yourself pretty capable to handle whatever comes after and the last card that we do have that is the guidance so we do have the queen of cups Queen of Cups as a guidance asks you to plan in the long term and additionally to that to try to keep that endeavor, this new beginning, uh, as discreet as possible. The less people know about it, the better because people are envy, people will try to take advantage of it and of your kindness for that matter. <clears throat> And additionally to that, you got to follow your intuition when it comes to interacting with other people. You will have that deep and profound understanding into the human nature, into the plight and as well the intentions of others. All right. So when you communicate with someone or when you kind of like cooperate with someone, you will have that feeling what they are after, what their aim and are they sincere follow that intuition or that inner guidance about the human nature and you cannot go wrong with associating yourself with partners and attracting or rather like uh, maintaining communication with the desired person. The accompanied card here that is going to be the Six of Cups formation is a passive supporters and uh, you gotta make those plans like i said guys the way that suits you best here with the six of cups as the six of cups represents personal happiness and also does represents the what one does it has to be of one's liking so it kind of points that if we're talking about for example of a your romantic relationship that person that comes around you're gonna like them emotionally and physically and they're gonna like you emotionally and physically as well so we're talking about a huge um compatibility that you're going to have and if it is not a person you know if it is a situation new beginning there will be a huge compatibility in between what you want and what is going on around you and this is how your plans needs to be founded uh, on a foundation of that um, unfoldment here that is unfolding the way you want it all right and you have to base your plans upon what you want so your plans should not be uh, involve either people that you want that that you don't want to be there with the magician we are seeing that even if you are dependable on them right now that is not gonna last very long and um also, your plans should not involve uh, an, uh, actions and uh, as well, you know, circumstances and enterprises which you don't like either. So that being said, uh, Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.